What is up guys? It is me Max back again with another guitar tutorial and today we'll be taking a look at my favorite song off of Pink Sweat's brand new album Pink Planet and of course I'm talking about Paradise. I'm saying of course because this is truly a masterpiece in my opinion. It is insanely beautiful and it is super interesting to play in guitar because we don't just get to mess around with some standard chords but instead we have some very interesting variations here and there and the whole song keeps itself fresh throughout because we've got so many interesting different parts in this song, yet we are in standard tuning, we won't be needing a capo or anything. And without any further ado and me rambling on, I'm too excited, let's roll. So let's kick things off by taking a look at the verse, which is also the intro of the song. And we start things on one of our two main chords, which is going to be an F major seven. We start by putting our third finger onto the third fret on the fifth string, pinky on the third fret on the fourth string, second finger on the second fret on the third string, and first finger on the first fret on the second string. So far, not too difficult, but here comes the tricky part. We now have to take our thumb, wrap it around the top of our guitar neck, and put it onto the first fret on the sixth string. I know that can be a bit challenging at first if you haven't done that before, but first of all, I highly recommend stuff that you, well, can't really play yet because that's what makes you better as a guitarist. And second of all, you can kind of work around it if you aren't able to pull it off yet, so don't worry. But if you wanna play it exactly like he does, you will need that full F major seven. Because what we do now is we take our thumb on our right hand and pick the sixth string once. And then we use our index finger to pick the second string and our middle finger to pick the first string. And we do those simultaneously. So we go. And now we pick the third and second string at the same time, once again using our index finger and middle finger. So it's just. And then we move on to our second main chord, which is going to be a C major seven. The switch is actually quite easy. We were on that F major seven and we just leave our third finger where it is on the third fret on the fifth string and we put our second finger onto the second fret on the fourth string and that is already the entire chord. But we also have to mute the sixth string once again using our thumb here, but instead of pushing down on the sixth string, we just slightly touch it from the side over here. But since we are finger picking in this part, we don't really have to worry about muting any strings yet. So what we do here is we take our thumb in order to pick the fifth string, index finger for the fourth string, and middle finger for the third string. We pick those simultaneously. And then once again, we go first and second, and third and second. So, so far we've got the F major seven and the C major seven. And now we move on to our first alteration of those chords because now we will basically go into the shape of our F major seven. But first of all, we won't be needing that thumb here. Second of all, we have to lift our pinky off and put it onto the third fret on the first string, because now we are going to be picking the fifth string, the third string, and the second string at the same time. And then first and second, and then we lift our pinky off and pick first and second again. So it's just like that. So, so far we've got And now we move back onto our C major seven and pick the fifth, fourth, and third string again. And now in the intro, we just go third string, second string, third string, fourth string. So. But throughout the entire rest of the song, we just go first and second and third and second, just like before this whole melody thing only happens once in the song and that is in the intro. So that is our entire verse riff. 
almost at least, because we go The reason why I said this is almost the entire verse is because we play this riff once in the intro, then we play it once more in the actual verse, and right before each chorus, we only play the first half of this riff, so we just go like that, and then we move on to an A minor. So we take our first finger and put that onto the first fret on the second string, second finger on the second fret on the fourth string, and third finger on the second fret on the third string. And now we use our thumb to pick the fifth string, index finger to pick the third string, and middle finger to pick the second string at the same time. And then we use our thumb and middle finger to pick the fifth and first string at the same time. And then we pick the second string on its own. So and then we move on to an alteration of the C major 7, because now we've got our first finger on the second fret on the fourth string, our second finger on the third fret on the fifth string, and our third finger on the fourth fret on the third string. We pick those three at the same time, and then first and second. And then we move into the chorus. So what we play right before each chorus sounds like this. Just like that. And now it is finally time to take a look at the chorus. We kick things off once again on an F major 7. We just strum down once, and then we slap our hand onto those strings and mute them, like that. Then we use our index finger and our middle finger to pick the first and second string, followed by the second and third string. Just like that. And then we move on to another chord, which we already know, the C major 7. Now we really have to watch out for that 6th string, and we have to mute it using our thumb up here, and we strum down once as well. And then we just pick 1st and 2nd string. So we go... And we do that twice. And we go on to the F major 7 once more. And then we move on to the F major 7 one more time. And then we move on to a C add 9. We put our first finger onto the second fret on the fourth string, second finger on the third fret on the fifth string, and third finger on the third fret on the second string. And once again, we have to mute the 6th string, and we can either do that by using our thumb over here, or our middle finger. One of those two, once again, has to slightly touch that 6th string in order to mute it. And now we pick the 1st string using our middle finger, and the 2nd string using our index finger. But not at the same time, but after each other. Just like that. So, so far we've got... And now we move all the way up here onto a D minor. First finger across the 5th, down to the 1st string on the 5th fret. 3rd finger on the 7th fret on the 4th string, pinky on the 7th fret on the 3rd string, and 2nd finger on the 6th fret on the 2nd string. And we strum down once on this as well, but here's the thing, we don't fully press down our first finger across all 5 strings yet, like this, but instead we only put it onto the 5th string at this point, and mute the first string, like that. Because what we do is we strum down once, 
and then we push down, pick first string and second string. But we don't want to hear that high note while we strum down for the first time. Like that. And then we slide two frets up onto an E minor. And once again, we do the exact same thing. We strum down once, but we only push down on the fifth string with our first finger at this point. And then we push down all the way and pick first and second string. Just like that. And that is almost the entire chorus because then we just go back onto the F major seven, play that once, C major seven once, F major seven once, C major seven once. And as you can hear, I forgot about one thing because in the very end of this chorus, after having strummed on on our beautiful C major seven, we don't just pick the first and second string as we usually do, but instead we slide up onto that E minor and go down once. And that is the entire chorus. And there is basically only one part left. I'm saying basically because it is technically not really a different part. I'm talking about the bridge and in the bridge we are just strumming down on our chorus chords and leaving out all the rest basically at least for the first half and then kind of transitions into the last chorus. So we just go down F major seven, C major seven. F major seven, C major seven. Then we go F major seven, and at this point, it's just the chorus again. Like that, and then we just go into the fully fleshed out chorus again, and that is the entire song. I almost left out one more part that is technically not a real guitar part of the song, but I'm talking about the trumpet or saxophone solo. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm not that much of a brass section kind of guy, but of course, I wanna show you guys how that works as well in case you wanna play along with that or do a cover or anything like that. So we start by putting our first finger onto the sixth fret on the second string and our third finger on the eighth fret on the second string. Now we pick eighth fret once, then lift the third finger off, sixth fret on the second string and slide down onto the fifth and pick that twice. Then we slide down onto the third fret once, third finger onto the fifth fret on the third string twice. So, now once more the third fret on the second string, and then twice the fifth fret on the second string. And we do that twice. And that's actually where that section ends. But if you guys wanna know what I played in the intro of my video, I just mimicked his singing or like the notes he's singing. So then we put our first finger onto the fifth fret on the first string, pick that once, eighth on the second string once, sixth fret on the second string once, and fifth fret on the second string once. And then we just finish it off as before. So we go. And 
And what I did then is I went on to the fifth fret on the fourth string once, seventh fret on the fourth string once, fifth fret on the third string once, back onto the seventh fret on the fourth string, so, and then, 7th fret, 9th fret, and 7th fret on the 3rd string. And then 5th fret and 7th fret on the 4th string again. 5th fret. And 9th fret and 7th fret on the 3rd string. Like that. So the entire thing sounds like this. That is it. I'm not really sure if you guys are going to use that, but I wanted to make sure that you have everything that you need or could ever want from this song. So yeah, there we go. That is actually it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop it a thumbs up. Helps me out more than you might think. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is somewhere down there. And as always, I hope that I will see you guys next time.